Hi, I'm Patience Akubo. I'm a makeup artist at House of Tara International. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to pick the right foundation shade for your skin tone. At House of Tara, we call that Meet Your Match. For this tutorial, I'm not only going to teach you how to pick the right foundation shade for your skin tone, I'm also going to show you application method tools to use and ways to apply to get the perfect flawless finish. For the application, I'm going to be using the Tara foundation, a foundation brush and a beauty blender. To meet your match, the first step is to understand your skin tone and your undertone. For the skin tone, we have three basic type of skin tones for the woman of color, and that is light, medium and deep. If your skin is light, it means that your complexion is pale, but not as pale as somebody with a fair skin tone which we rarely have in Nigeria. Now, if your skin tone is medium, it means that you're not too light and you're not too dark. You're just somewhere in the middle. If your skin tone is deep, it means that your complexion is dark. Then to find in your undertone. Understanding your undertone can be a little tricky. It can be quite difficult. Now, while the skin tone refers to the complexion of your skin, the undertone refers to the color that runs under your skin and it affects like the general outcome of your foundation. There are three types of undertones. We have the cool undertone, the warm undertone and the neutral undertone. People with cool undertone can know by checking the back of your wrist. Now if the veins that run there is purpley or blue, it means that your undertone is cool. If your veins are peachy or yellow, it means that your undertone is warm. And for people with, um, with neutral undertone, it's a little shallow. You can also know from jewelries. Now, some people feel like silver fits them more or gold fits them more. If you see that, if you notice that silver looks better against your skin, it means that you have a cool undertone. And if gold looks better against your skin, it means that you have a warm undertone. If it makes no difference at all, it means that your, skin, your undertone is neutral. Now, my model today is a medium skinned person and she has a warm undertone. The next step is understanding your skin type. That is oily, dry, or normal skin. If you have an oily skin, your skin has large pores that secrete a lot of oil throughout the day. You might want to use water-based foundations for your oily skin. House of Tara has you covered with our matte foundations in 13 different shades. Now for dry skin, it means that your skin pores are tight and it doesn't secrete as much oil as possible. So you want to use foundations that moisturize your skin. And for that, we have our House of Tara foundations in medium coverage in eight different shades. For the normal skin, you can feel free to play around with any of our foundation types, matte or medium coverage. You might just experience some oiliness around your T-zone, which is not a problem. My model today has a normal skin type and I'm going to be using the medium coverage foundation in TF313. The next step is swatching your foundation. Now that you know your skin tone, your undertone, and your skin type, you want to swatch possible matches for your skin. You can get like maybe three possible shades and swatch them on your cheek. Swatch against, like you're, you're checking against the complexion of your neck to make sure it matches. The final step is finding the right light. Now, after you've swatched, you want to allow it to sit into your skin for a bit. Then go into natural light. Go outside into daylight and see how it looks against your skin. Now, if it's too light, it's going to be ashy. We're not looking for ashy. If it's too dark, it's going to be muddy. We're not looking for muddy. If it sits right into your skin and it doesn't look like there's anything on your skin, that's the right shade for you. As you can see, I've applied the foundation in TF313 on my model and it looks really good. 
Now, things to note while you're applying your foundation. Use a foundation brush first and go in a downward stroke on your face. That way it gives an illusion of a flawless skin, right? You apply with a foundation brush first, then you go in with a beauty blender and just dab the skin slightly for a perfect finish. Once again, my name is Patience Akubo. You can catch me on Instagram at Patience Akubo underscore Tara. Now you know how to meet your match. This tutorial was brought to you by Hasatara International. Thank you.